Welcome to WNL Sports Weekly. I'm Jeremy Franklin. Coming up, we'll speak with women's basketball coach Christine Clancy, men's basketball captain Alex Starr, and women's swimmer Emily Hedgeback. But first, here's a quick look back at the weekend in Washington and Lee Athletics. Men's track and field won 12 events at Shenandoah's Wilkins Center Invitational, while the women's team recorded 10 first place finishes. Men's and women's swimming both picked up dual meet victories over Roanoke. Wrestling went 2-3 and three at the Bud Whitehill Duels in Pennsylvania, downing Ohio Northern and Williams while falling to Springfield, Wilkes, and tournament <coughs> hosts like Homing. Men's basketball ran its winning streak to five with a 91-65 victory at Hampton Sydney, while women's hoops picked up a key 86-76 road win over Virginia Wesleyan. With me in the studio is women's basketball coach Christine Clancy. Christine, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. That uh, win in Virginia Beach moved your team's road record to 6-2 and two on the season. What has led to the general success away from home? You know, I think we just threw them into the fire right from the beginning. We had a really tough non-conference schedule um, opening up at Stevenson and then heading to F&M. We've played at NYU. I mean, we've, we've put ourselves in some pretty tough positions on the road. And I think they just, especially with such a young group, the first years don't know any better. They get off the bus, we tell them to play, and they go out and compete. Um, and I think we've just had that mentality from the beginning. One game at a time, doesn't matter where we are, we just got to compete and play hard and have a lot of energy. You mentioned the team's youth and half of your roster is comprised of first year players and those rookies do see significant minutes for you. How have they adapted so well to college basketball? You know, it's it's been pretty incredible to see how well they've done um, right from the beginning of the season. Uh, they just hit the ground running. Um, they didn't really have any other choice, quite frankly, with our, with our numbers and our roster makeup, we had to rely on freshmen early. Um, so they, um, they stepped up just so quickly. It's been really impressive to see how much of an impact all five of them have made um, right from the beginning of the season. And we treat them kind of now like they're experienced players, like they're veterans. Um, we have very high expectations every day uh, of each and every one of them. Your veterans have also stepped up big as of late. In the game against Virginia Wesley alone, you had a career high in scoring from Aaron Hughes, first ever double-double from Andy Smithy. What kind of development have you seen from your returning group? They've all stepped up as leaders. Um, I've been really impressed with how they've taken the first years under their, under their wings and um, really brought them into the fold. And, uh, I mean, that road, road win at Virginia Wesleyan was so big, so key for us, and is going to be one of those games that we'll look back that could determine our place in the standings. And to have Aaron Hughes have that career night, Andy Smithy the double-double, and Taylor Casey also had a huge game. She had 20 points for us. So it really showed their leadership, and, and they're the people that we kind of have to fall back on. Um, we, we look to them a lot, and, and the first years have really um, helped each of, each of those uh, returners really improve their games as well. You begin the second half of the conference schedule with Wednesday night's game against Bridgewater. What are the keys as you enter the final month of the regular season? Our focus this year has really been one game at a time, one day at a time, um, and we need to keep that mentality. Uh, the ODAC is more open and more balanced than I've ever seen it on the women's side. Uh, really, any of the 10 teams that make it into the tournament could be competing for a championship. So we can't take any night off. We got to come ready to play every single day, no matter who the opponent is. Um, and I think if we play with that mentality, we, we can put ourselves in a really good position coming into tournament time. Christine, thanks for joining us. Good luck with the rest of the season. Thanks for having me. Joining me now is Alex Starr, senior basketball captain from Upper Saddle River, New Jersey. Alex, welcome to the show. Appreciate it. Dating back to early December, the Generals have won five straight ODAC games. What has led to the team's recent success against the conference? Uh, I think we're getting a lot more comfortable in what we're doing and executing at a real high level. Um, we're really confident in what we're doing offensively, but also defensively. Uh, we switched up a little bit of our ball screen coverage, and that's led to a little bit more pressure on the ball um, and a little bit more accountability for the guys defensively. So I think that's helped us a lot. You were in the starting lineup in 2017-18. This year, you've come off the bench in every game, but you seem to have embraced that role. In fact, uh, you're among the ODAC leaders in assisted turnover ratio. How have you adjusted to uh, being a different part of the general's rotation? It's definitely an adjustment, but I had experience coming off the bench my, my freshman and sophomore year, um, and I enjoy it a lot. I think being able to bring a spark to the, to the team offensively and defensively, uh, communicating, I think that's something I'm good at. Um, and just coming from a place of gratefulness, Coach talks about that a lot, just being grateful to be playing for the team at this school. 
We talked last week with Coach McHugh about what uh, you and the senior class have meant during his two years at the helm of the program. What has it been like for you to play alongside Roy McMillan and Devin Kearns for the past four seasons? Yeah, first off, it's just been a lot of fun. Uh, those are two of my best friends, so that's there's a lot of trust there. Um, but they're also very competitive dudes, and they really drive me to be better than I than I am. So they drive me to be more competitive, and the accountability that we have and we share on the court, I think that's that's really special. You take on number 17 Lynchburg at home on Thursday. It's obviously a significant game, but at the same time, one contest won't make or break your season. How are the generals approaching this game? Yeah, I think that's well said. Like it, it definitely is a big game, big time game for us this year. Um, but that being said, it's just another game. Um, so we're approaching it just how we do any other game. It's a little bit different. It's on a Thursday instead of our normal Wednesday. So we kind of have an extra day to prepare, uh, but kind of controlling what we can control and being as sharp as we can with our team. Alex, thank you for joining us. Good luck the rest of the season. Thanks a lot. Here with me now is Emily Hedgeback, junior swimmer from Charleston, West Virginia. Emily, welcome back to the show. Thank you for having me. The Generals have won every event in which you've competed this season, 6-0 and in dual meets. You've won three invitationals as well. What has led to the team's success so far this year? I think our team dynamic has just been fantastic this season. We have a smaller, slightly smaller team than previous years, so everybody's really excited to get up and have the opportunity to race at every meet. And we've had some great team bonding activities, especially with our recruits, where we went apple picking and made gingerbread houses. So just overall, the team dynamic has been fantastic. And being able to race some new teams this year has also helped with our season. Saturday's meet against VMI and Randolph marks the final home event of the regular season. That means it will be senior day for the Generals. What has that class meant to the Washington and Lee program? Over the last three years with my time with the seniors, they have just been amazing team leaders. They bring so much energy to the deck. They're filled, their class is filled with our team comedians and our loudest cheerleaders. So just having them be there is just an excitement to all of the underclassmen. And they're also the biggest supporters of us. So it'll be sad to see them leave. After this weekend, you'll have just one more dual meet before the ODAC championships come up in mid-February. What will the next few weeks be like as the team prepares for the postseason? So the next few weeks, we are going to continue with our hard training, with our morning practices, and then our afternoon lifts. And then as we come down to our final two dual meets, we're going to be working on our race strategies and just really fixing the, fun, the small details that make big differences when it comes down to ODACs. You've earned multiple All-America honors across your first two seasons. How will your past experience, both on an individual level and for the team as a whole, help you as you prepare for the big events coming up in Greensboro? So our team's goal is always to perform very well at ODAX and send as many swimmers to nationals as possible. So I think the experience that the upperclassmen have going into these meets really helps with the confidence of the first years in order for them to just perform well. And by the meets being in Greensboro, it's kind of like our home pool as far as championship meets go, so that's really exciting. So if we keep our high energy that the teams had this season, I think that the postseason will be fantastic. Emily, thank you for joining us. Good luck with the rest of the year. Thank you for having me. It's time now for a look at the upcoming weekend. Men's and women's track and field will head across town for VMI's Kedet Invitational. Wrestling opens up Centennial Conference play with matches against Muhlenberg and Ursinus. Men's and women's swimming play host to a dual meet against VMI and Randolph and women's basketball hits the road to face Ferrum. For WNL Sports Weekly, I'm Jeremy Franklin. Thanks for watching.